What's going on YouTube? Uh, today was cleaning day, so I cleaned the cages for probably like, I uh, cleaned most of them. The others that I did two weeks ago, so it took me about six hours. And just had to do a full update video. I did one of this last August. So there are the eight cages on that wall with the Gargo Gecko terrarium. So I'm around my couch. Here is, I got another um, Constructors Northwest cage that I will set up. Uh, two profile four T's up there. Swim around my daughter's side of the basement and the, uh, the Hypo Hog and Pac Man and the Corn Snake in this side. I'm gonna probably just get all the three foot caging on this wall uh, in a couple months. Once I get more of these uh, constructed Northwest cage come in. Those four cages over there on the right side, the three footers, gonna stack on this other side wall because I have five foot cages coming in. I really like this constructed Northwest cage. So, there it is. And I'll take some of the bowls out to show you guys. Here's my 2011 Suriname BCC male, Adonis. It's got some decent size over the past two years. As you guys probably all know, that BCCs do take much longer time to, uh, to get their size due to the fact that, you know, their feeding is more spread out. But it's looking good. Definitely one of my favorites. Beautiful, beautiful red tail. Here's my 2012 BCC Surinam female. The Mega Peak line. Her peaks are fantastic. Even though she's a year younger, she is about the same size as the male. Due to her genetics, she will probably outgrow him probably next year. Here's my Carl Sunglo 2011 male Kratos. Another one of my favorites. Sunglo is a base morph, but uh, something about that yellow, orange, creamy yellow, um, and orange combination. It's just fantastic. So, this is a lipstick line. So, it, it's got more of a creamy whitish yellow if that makes any sense to you guys but he's doing great look at that tail really like how his clean saddle defined saddles look on him very nice animal it's always gratifying when you see a snake grow in your, in your care that I got this guy as a small worm when he was probably about, <clears throat> what, five months old. So, it's him and Kratos. Here's my 2011 uh, Paradigm female. This is Sunshine. She's uh, close to five feet now, a little bit over four and a half. Really liking the size at her age right now. That rustic uh, orange tail color and that really nice circle back saddles with that um, nutmeg coloration. So, this is my 2011 Paradigm. Also, one of my favorites.
Prismatic 2011 Red Pastel Possible Jungle Female Girl. This is Shakira. Oh yeah, tail. One of my favorite features on this girl is that tail. Bright red and really, really nice. Got that pinkish head on her too. This is my 2011 Hypo Arabesque Male. I like the patterns on this guy's uh, tail and how the saddles are very. Um, different from my other morphs that I have. Looking good. So they do have a little bit more of a thin saddles. Oh, hypo, hypo arabesque. This is my 2011 just regular hypo 66% pet albino. This is Sasha. This is the Hypo Arabes sibling. It's his sister. Nice Hypo. Clean saddles. Which I like a lot on most of my bows. She does have some speckling on her head, but when she's a light phase, that does turn pretty light pink. So this is just a regular hypo. This is my 2011 Central American Motley 100% Hep T positive girl. This is Elvira. I really like the way Central Americans look. It's so different from the Colombians. Um, I am um, getting another Central American uh, Sangro T positive, probably in uh, two months from Jimmy Snakes. So, this is what she looks like. on this girl. Looks like she's about to get into it, going to her shed because she's looking a little bit more dark. But beautiful boy regardless. This is my 2012 Motley Parahead. His name is Shadow. For him either proving out to be 100% head sharp or 100% head boom and caramel, he is the, the lightest motley that I have and most colorful too. Really like his uh, that yellow saddles on his back. Very nice bright rusty orange tail. Remember. Here's my 2009 Motley girl. She's in shed, so I'm not gonna bother taking her out of the cage. She's looking really dark right now. Should have just lift her up high, then she's probably being disturbed. So, this is her cage. And there's my big 2000, I meant to say 2010 Motley. Here's Blondie, my Carl Albino 
Boa. She still is my favorite. Um, it's a 2009 girl. Maybe just because the fact that she was my first Boa, it's got sentimental values, but um, I absolutely adore this girl. She is close to six feet now. It <laughs> doesn't look like that in the cage, but she is looking fantastic. It's the lighting in the cage is washing out her colors, but she's very nice. She's probably the tamest girl that I have, but I do not mess with her during feeding time. <laughs> so, there's Blondie. This is 2012 Possible Super Hypo Jungle Female. Her name is Sunkist. She just recently came out of shed, so looking really good. Love that yellowish color tone. Surround the edges of her, edges of her saddle, which is very cool. Her tail. This girl has almost no black pigmentation whatsoever. She's a more of a tri-color ration that like little buckskin color on top um pinkish orange that lateral on the side and she's got a white belly which is very cool this is the white belly i was just talking to you guys about really cool Love the color combination in this girl. Here's my 2012 pastel jungle male. This is Taz. I'm really a fan of these jungle stuff. Very nice pattern. Right tail. And he's got a tremendous amount of color. That can't really pick out this washed uh, washed out lighting in here. But here's the two thousand twelve jungle female which uh, came out of quarantine about a week and a half ago and she is doing great really love this barren jungle pattern I love all jungle stuff but this this one is definitely one of my prize animals not just the pattern but <clears throat> her, her um, coloration and that really bright killer tail Last but not least, this is our Hypo Hog Island Boa, 2011 male. This was my son's first Boa, and it's under my care now because he's too busy with his schoolwork and sports and whatnot. But uh, he named them Slithers, and great looking animal. Nice size. He's smaller than the other Colombians due to the uh, Hog Island inf inf uh, influence, but very nice. Nice deep colors on this guy too. I might be selling him. I haven't decided for hundred percent, but if I do, I'll do a separate video of it later on. So all right. I know it was a long video, but uh, you know, with fifteen animals, it's it's. I knew it was going to be a little long, but regardless, as always, thanks for, thanks for watching guys and talk to you guys soon.